I'm just going to look at a couple of really basic exercises you can do to help your recovery from a disc bulge. They're really simple and I have a lot more of an extensive program, but this is just a real quick first aid. So if you've watched my video on disc bulges, hopefully you'll understand that a disc can bulge in any direction. It can bulge backwards, forwards, sideways, diagonally. It can hit a nerve, it can miss a nerve. So it's, a, it's quite a, important that you understand which way your disc has bulged. If you've had an MRI scan, you will hopefully know that. So to correct and heal a disc bulge, we basically want to push the bulge back into the center of the spine. So as you bend forwards, the disc will bulge backwards. So if you have a backward bulging disc and you do forward bends, you are essentially going to exacerbate and increase the bulge and you're going to inhibit the healing and inhibit the correction. So it's really important in that situation that you do extensions. You take your spine backwards and you push that bulge back into position. If, however, your bulge is bulging forwards and you do back bends, you can see it's not black, it's not difficult, it's black and white, your disc will bulge forwards and accentuate that rip. So in which case you need to do flexion. So I'm presuming that you need to find out by hook or by crook, by scan or by assessment with an osteopath or a doctor or a physio or a chiropractor, you need to find out which direction your bulge is bulging and um, do the correct exercises. So I'm just going to show you two exercises now. So should you find out that your disc is moved backwards, then I'd like you to do this exercise. You need to do extension. You need to push the disc forward. So Sarah, if you can just bring your hands underneath and I want you to bring your thumbs in line with your eyes and then just push down through your hands, bring the elbows in, in towards your body. Bring your elbows in towards your body and raise the head. Okay, so this is just a really good, great first stage. It's a simple extension through the spine, through the lumbar spine and the thoracic and the neck. So if your bulge is in the neck, upper back or the lower back, you'll start correcting that. It's very gentle and it'll have a certain effect. But if you want to increase the effect of an extension on a disc bulge, then you want to increase that uh, raise. So just uncurl down, Sarah. That's it, move your hands back under your shoulders and then push down and you're going to raise up into the full what we call the cobra, the hanging cobra. That's lovely. So you're getting a really strong extension here and if you just gently raise the head up that will get into the neck as well. Okay and gently uncurl down. You can hold that for about 10 seconds. You can repeat it 10 times. Basically the more often you do it the more it will push that disc back into position. Now the only thing you will have to watch with this is with a disc herniation and disc bulge, you do get a lot of back spasm. So when you do an extension like this, it can make that spasm worse and it can tighten those muscles in the low back. So that is why this is a great first aid exercise, but what you really need is my disc rehabilitation program. So basically it takes you through six weeks where you will do stretches and side bends uh, to the low back to enable you to do these extension movements without making that back pain much worse. It's, it's, a, it's a very fine balance managing a disc bulge, but it's very, very simple and straightforward when you know how. So if, if you are managing a disc bulge, try and get hold of my program, it will really help you. So say your bulge is going forward in the spine, I want you just to do forward bends. So raise the hips up, Sarah. That's it, drop the hips back onto the floor. There we go. And you can see here, drop your head down, you can see here that Sarah is in full flexion. You can't take your spine into any more flexion than that. This is just one position you can take. There are many, many yoga postures that you can do that will put your spine in this position. But if, you're, if your disc has moved forward, this is the best one for you. Okay, so that's it. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Obviously, there's loads of other movements you can do, but these two will give you a very, very quick, fast, immediate relief to get the disc back in position, but they're not the full picture and they won't get you full healing and full correction. For that, you need a much longer program.